Hello friends! Alright, it's time for another unprovoked, unedited, unscripted video or like my good friend like, likes to call it, a piece of Emacs propaganda. So here's the problem. I have a bunch of URLs, alright? There are all some kind of URLs that I already can process inside Emacs without switching to the browser, without opening them in the browser. I wanted to do this in Emacs because I wanted to stay in Emacs and to do without losing focus, without switching context and because it's just nice. So let's see how I solve that for myself and how nicely you can do that too. First, let's start uh, at a high, at like a bit of a higher level, shall we? So for example, if I type something, something like RFC123 right so how do we how do we teach the cmax this is a plain piece of text all right so how do can we teach emacs to know what this plain piece of text is in general for processing a piece of text based on pattern matching there exist two great packages one of them is called hyperbole another one is called embark I won't be talking about hyperbole because frankly I've never used it myself uh, but let's look at Embark. Embark is just an amazing package and if you've never used it, never seen it in action, you absolutely must. Um, Karthik, uh, author of GPTEL, uh, like some time ago, uh, he published this uh, blog post uh, called 15 ways to use Embark. It's great. Um, I will be posting it in the description and a prod made a video. It's also a great video. Watch it too. It's uh, interesting. I promise. So Embark has this command Embark action. So whenever you like basically uh, let me move it here so whenever you have oops uh, i don't know what i did so whenever you have something right and then you 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 typically want embark action bound to like a easily reachable key i have it on control semicolon so whenever i press control semicolon whenever i press control semicolon at like at any point uh in the buffer it intelligently knows what that or it guesses what that thing is it knows that we are on the org heading right and if i keep pressing control semicolon it just uh it just cycles through things right now it doesn't like recognize it like uh, other anything other than uh, uh a heading but in different situation like let's here let's see here it says like oh maybe it's an identifier and it allows you to do certain things with this identifier if I press it again it says like oh maybe it's a sentence like what can we do with sentence right like we can for example count words in this region right or, or I spell the region or if I press the uh, embark action uh, press again it cycles to a paragraph. Well, like I don't have a paragraph yet. Well, actually, uh, why don't we, um, why don't we insert some um, some paragraphs? Uh, all right. Uh, now we have a paragraph. We have a word. We have a sentence. We have a paragraph, and you can see it cycles through different things and like allows you to do different things based on the things at point, right? So now what you could do is like you, like you could uh teach emacs to recognize things like rfcs and not only rfcs it could be just about anything it could be a piece of code in your favorite programming language it could be a jira ticket number or it could be a url like in my case right first thing to do this like you know to to teach Emacs uh, recognize things, to teach Embark to recognize things like that, you need like a few things. First thing you need, let me delete this. Uh, first thing you need is so-called a target, uh, target finder function. So the target finder function, it needs to return a list where the first thing is the 
type of that target right in this case if uh, don't be confused with the syntax uh, it's basically returning a list uh, if I don't quote it like this it will try to execute this it will say like oh is it a function do you have a function like a RFC number I don't have a function called RFC number in my system so uh, you could do it like this right like list and blah 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 uh, without these like commas um, and I think it should work as well uh, but uh, I'm just quoting this list and uh, commas I need to because these are runtime values and uh, it just returns this list with uh, the type of uh, the action, right? And uh, the, the type of the target, I'm sorry. So then once you do this, you need to add that function to the list of target finders. Embark already has a uh, target sum like target finders and I added like some more uh, like all these this plus ones are mine uh, like most of these are like built in uh, into Embark so you can see that like you know it recognizes email at point for example right like or uh, agenda item or uh, org links and so on so uh, you once you add that to target uh, finders list now you can actually create a key map specific key map for this specific target right like so I say like a hey, create a, uh, a key map that is based on embark general map and add it to the list of key maps so I know when I see RFC number this is my target type I'm going to use this specific key map for this specific target type, right? And then finally, once you do this, you can add your uh, bind different keys. This is a doom syntax, but I'm pretty sure you can figure out like vanilla Emacs uh, key binding syntax. So it basically says like for this specific, this specific map, map I want to bind B to this specific command and if I want to add like different commands later I can easily do so like for example if I want to have a converting function that converts like the RFC number to a URL to a, like you know for example like I'm um, just imagining a scenario where you need to send RFC number to your colleague uh, and they don't have this uh, elaborate and uh, um, intuitive uh, thing that you know that uh, knows and like you know uh, how to deal with RFC numbers you want to like uh, and you want to be nice and send the RFC URL uh, so they can read it so you can have a command that uh, you know uh, potentially convert uh, RFC to URL or something right like so I, I don't have it yet so let's remove this and now if I press control um, semicolon it knows that this is RFC number right because uh, the target says like Ed if you when you encounter something that like you know matches this pattern that's an RFC no, uh, number and if I press B you can see it opens RFC mode uh, and I can like you know go through the RFC this this one is short but like if it's longer I can totally like read it I can like you know all the things that you have in Emacs there um, they're there you can use different things like you know narrowing like you know and all that uh, um, so yeah I mean like you, it, this could be not just RFC it could be anything I use it for um, the Jira numbers for example right like uh, let's see if I can find like some um, Jira numbers uh, yeah like um, like something like this right like if I have a Jira number uh, it's just it's just plain text but it does recognize it as a Jira number and I can browse it and it opens in Emacs it opens it like it doesn't have to go anywhere it just opens it here and I can you know deal with that or I can convert it to a link where it grabs again if I'm sharing it with like somebody it grabs like the the description from our Jira cloud and like in, in injects it and and if I'm uh, doing it in markdown mode that like 
uh, creates a markdown link, not uh, the org mode link. So you can do you can do it for a bunch of things. So now back to our URLs. How do we do this? Imagine having to do this for every single type of URL, and I have different types here, right? Like I have YouTube the link, I have a GitHub. Uh, that points to uh, just a repo. I have a GitHub link that points to a specific pull request. I have a GitHub uh, link that points to a GitHub issue. I have a GitHub link that points to a specific file on specific branch or with specific line of code, right? I have a Reddit link and I have Hacker News link. All these things I have commands that like they can open them uh, in Emacs, but every time like I encounter, I don't want to go and find my like you know whatever hacker news, hacker news or like you know whatever command I have or like Reddit, right? Like you know and then like copy the URL, paste the URL. I want to be able to do it like in place without losing context, but adding like a number of targets will be a lot of boilerplate i don't want to do it for every single one of them so how did i do this i do i did this by using a single uh, target function that depending on the type of the url returns a different type uh, let's see how it works so it starts with this uh, general uh, config for my URLs, right? I have different types of URLs, right? And I have a pattern, the regex pattern that I want to match. And I have actions where I bind some keys to specific commands, right? And I have like some uh, nil is for shared actions that uh, will appear in if every URL I want to be able to open in Emacs web browser and I want to be able to browse in the external browser as well, right? So these are shared keys. I probably will add like things like converting uh, later, right? Like I want to be able to convert every URL like, you know, if I'm in Markdown and like, you know, I want to convert it to org mode, for example, or I'll like, you know, convert the, the YouTube link to like, you know, the some other, uh, I don't know, uh, but I can, I can do this as well. So once I have this, I have uh, this function, basically it sets up, it like creates all this, like it, all this boilerplate, it dynamically creates um different uh different uh, maps the key maps uh, with the with the commands bound to specific keys so here's our um target url at point so you can see it goes through the every single item in that list and then matches and if it finds a match then it just uh, returns the list with a type with this, like the, the text and the URL and uh, the, the boundaries of it. And if it can match anything, it just falls back to fall, fall back to the generic URL because uh, Embark can like act on generic URLs as well. And uh, so yeah, basically that's that's it. Uh, that's that's what it took me and then if I do like if I press B and if I press B right now my uh, my window manager probably like will screw things around will like move things around but it will open it in MPV that's what we're saying to do it here right like that's what we're saying like on for YouTube when I press B and B I'll open it in MPV and it opens uh, and MPV, let's just do it. Uh, I'm just, uh, um, it should open, yeah, like you can see. Uh, right, I'm gonna pause the video, I'm gonna move it, so, uh, no, let's move it over here, so we don't have um, windows being weird. So, I uh, like, I, I can control the video playback from here, from, directly from Emacs, 
I can pause it, I can make it slower, faster, like, you know, all these things, and let me just close it. Um, very, very handy. Uh, now, the next thing we have is the, the your, like, GitHub URL, uh, repo URL, and if I press BB, it just opens the readme for that, and it doesn't matter if it's in org mode or markdown, it just uh, retrieves the, the readme, uh, if you're more interested in specific commands, uh, like in this case, this is running uh, Forge Visit Topic via URL. This is my uh, customized command. It's kind of it does a lot of things. I probably can simplify this a lot, but I've written this uh, uh, some time ago. If you're interested, you can um, feel free to borrow it. And similarly for GitHub issue, it just uh, like, you know, for pull request, it opens the pull request. Oh, I pressed uh, O and opened it in the browser. But if I press BB, it opens the pull request. And I can even, I can even with code review package, I can even review the changes right here in Emacs without like, you know, I can see the diff of changes. Uh, I didn't have to copy the URL. I didn't have to like switch to the browser and do like you know other things. It just like it took me uh, just pressing uh, literally two button the two keys, right? Similarly for issues, I can browse uh, issues uh, right right here um, with like the, the I can see the comments there. For specific files, it opens a file. Uh, well, I think I previously opened the file, but if I close it and if I open it again, you see it comes. I the one thing uh, my command is missing. It doesn't add, like it doesn't actually op uh, switch to like the specific mode. But if I do this, it uh, uh, I have to do it manually for now. But uh, if I get bored, I probably will. Uh, make that uh, automatic. So for Reddit, I use uh, Reddit. Uh, you can watch my previous video on how I do Hacker News uh, browsing and Hacker News search, um, like using um, packages uh, called the Reddit and HN, um, what's it called, HN Reader. Um, so yeah. That's all that I have today. Um, hopefully you learned something new. Let me know in the comments. Thank you.